Zoho Desk Tutorial, how to use Zoho Desk for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at Zoho Desk. So let's get into it. Now, what is Zoho Desk? Well, Zoho Desk is basically a platform that allows you to manage your customer service operations. This can help you in managing your employees as well as creating a simplified version of a CRM. Now, if you go on ahead onto zoho.com slash desk, you will be able to see what the Zoho desk, you know, tool entails. So what this is going to do is that you're going to have multiple different agents who are, you know, running your CRM and you can manage all of your ticketing over here. You can do a simple reporting section as well. And for people that are looking to have a basic and simple way to manage their ticketing, this is definitely the software for you. Plus, if you take a look at Zoho itself, they have multiple different tools that can really help you. So if you're looking to, you know, build your CRM, mail, books, people, then all of those features are also integratable directly onto one platform of Zoho. But we're going to be focusing on the help desk for customer support and customer service. So you guys can see this is what you have to do. Just head on over to Zoho.com, go on to slash desk. And from here, we're going to get our 15-day free trial. So you can just choose to enter information from over here, or you can even use LinkedIn or Google account to get started. It's absolutely free, and we're just going to wait for this to be completed. So you guys can see we are currently on the older version, but I'm going to update this right now. And you guys can choose to update this, but we're just going to wait a couple of seconds to get started with Zoho. Now, you guys can see this is what the Zoho Desk platform is going to entail for you. So you guys can see on the top, you have this navigation panel. First off, you have your ticketing. Now, ticketing is primarily one of the most major things that you have to deal with in a CRM, and it can be a great tool to use over here as well. Now, in your ticketing, you can have multiple different views. So you can have start views, you have all of your views, you can manage close tickets, missing chats, my on hold tickets, response overdue tickets, overdue open tickets. So you really have a bunch of different categories that you can view your tickets from. Now, after that, you have your knowledge base. In your knowledge base, you're basically going to build a self-support center or a self-answering center. And writing a effective knowledge base can really reduce the number of tickets that you get. So this is something that is super, super nice to have integrated directly into Zoho because usually you would have to go to a third-party platform to build your knowledge base. However, they have created a knowledge base directly over here. So from here, you guys can see you can start writing your articles. You can create categories. For example, if you have a online service product, so let's say you provide a online software service of SEO optimization. Now you can create a category for that uh, related to which brand it is or which you know business this is related to. And then you can click on what kind of knowledge base article is this. You can add them regarding to sign up, accounts, billings, uh, account information, memberships, renewals, all of that stuff can uh, often end up in your ticketing system and instead of having it in your ticketing system if you create a knowledge base it's a lot easier for people to find the answers that they are looking for for example a good knowledge base should entail you know step by steps so let's say if someone has asked so how can we do seo optimization of the website without making the website live so whatever is the answer, you can insert it over here. You have plain text as well as images and links that you can add. You have multiple different attachments that you can add. And then you also have SEO tags that you can add to further enable your uh, knowledge base articles to rank higher on search engines. Now, on the right, if your main section is related to SEO service, then you can create a subsection of billing, a subsection of how to use, a subsection of, you know, other questions that might be frequently asked. Now, after that, you have display permissions. Now, there are two options with the knowledge bases. Obviously, uh, some people like to create, you know, um, uh, displays or knowledge bases that are available for the public, but this 
a knowledge base is basically going to be only for your employees. So the employees, whenever they're getting any kind of ticket, and they're like, oh, this question, I know the answer to this question. This is, you know, answered within the knowledge base. So they can provide direct answers from the knowledge base, derive all of their information from there. And they can, you know, know all the company protocols, know all the step-by-step -step and guidance lines. And the knowledge base is going to basically provide those. And then you have tags as well as article expiries. Now, after that, you also have versions and TOC, which is the table of content. If you have larger articles regarding topics, then you can use these tools to further simplify your knowledge base. Now, next up, you have your customer section where it's going to display all of your contacts. If you do not have any contacts already, you can start by adding them. You can click on add new on the top right and click on contact over here and start adding new contacts. Or you can even export files directly over here or import files directly over here. So it's easier for you to sync up your contact from any other platform. Now, Moving on to our next and final sections. Now, this is a premium section that is going to enable you to uh, basically send messages on multiple different platforms like WeChat, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram, and more. This is primarily for people that are looking to get their customer customer tickets resolved off of emails because most customers prefer their questions to be answered on a, a platform like you know um whatsapp or telegram or wechat so that can be a great feature if you are you know in that kind of business where you might have a prolonged or frequent communication with your customers now moving on to the top right you have your basic account settings notifications as well as your create section now this is for a shoe store that i have created you can create basically use any uh, platform that you want to create your desk for whatever you're managing now this is basically the newer version it just has a updated appearance and you guys can see you have ticketing you have the platform and if you want to add a new desk then you do have to upgrade to a premium plan so in this way, you can get started with Zoho Desk and get started with managing your customer questions and all of the queries that your customers might have can be managed, answered, and resolved over here. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed plan platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.